Hi, hello, my name is Gabio, and welcome to 2023's Mermaid Part 1. I know it's been a while and yeah I just finished my bachelor's degree I have finally some free time in like for forever and I decided immediately to go back into mermaid because I'm a wee bit insane I guess <laughs> this is just gonna be like the explanation of mermaid I'm just gonna go speed around I have a minute per drawing and then just a little like five seconds still I think and then there's gonna be a full showdown at the end if you would like also, I just want to preface with the rules that I set out for myself for this year's Mermaid. I'm not on time. Like, I am currently recording this for the 21st of May, and I'm at day 13. I am late, and that's okay. I had a really busy month. I wanted to do this, and I'm going to do the full 31 days. It's just going to be slow. I also did the same thing as I did in 2020, the last time I did this challenge, in which I am doing it with a themed color. So it's like November every, like, three days it's changing just color slightly into like kind of a gradient thing you'll see it's really cool and um there might be some nudity i don't think there's any in this video but uh, i i didn't limit myself because there are fish and fish can have boobies this is that's it so let's go on to the video so to begin with the first one is ursula it's a classic thing that i do every year i always draw ursula this one is inspired by melissa mccarthy's rendition in the movie Although the makeup is really, really fucking bad in the movie. But I, I, I kind of like the outfit. I was a Melissa McCarthy hater and now I'm pretty excited to see her performance. Um, so yeah, that that is what this is. I did it in Clip Studio Paint before Mermaid. I was cheating. Um, but I really like Clip Studio. I've been playing a lot with it. And yeah, so the, this is the first day you have nothing no sweet pain i'm sorry <laughs> day two um this is a character i've been reusing for a couple of years now this started as a three color three marker challenge actually like when i was in high school and i've been drawing her pretty consistently since then um always tweaking the design a bit um but i really really like the way it turned out in here um with this piece i specifically really wanted to play with movement this year i wanted all of my mermaids to be like in the same shape same dimensions see this is the the past rendition that i have here like this is 2020's version but yeah i wanted all of them to have the same kind of shape and it, it is a challenge and i'm still trying to figure out how to play with it because since it's a horizontal thing and a mermaid is pretty long, it plays with really fun like compositions and way to play with it. It's hard, but it's fun. I'm really happy with how the colors turned out. I mean, I did put a overlay of the background on the top of the painting at the end with this, but I really, really like the way it turned out. I'm really happy with day two. Day three, I have tessalophobia, the phobia of like big water things basically. Um, and this was challenging myself to be completely honest. Um, this was not hard to do. It didn't scare me like to do it, but it was like hard to look for references, for example. Like I wanted to look for a big wave and absolutely not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I really liked the way the colors turned out. I went with a very different painting style that I don't usually use. The water is super painterly. The background is like kind of too dark to really see what's going on which was the purpose i'm not super proud of the boat but it's okay i really really like the shading i was able to do on the actual mermaid giant mermaids are fucking scary dude <laughs> but yeah i th this piece meant a lot because it's super out of my comfort zone it's really like conceptual and very like painterly but I, at the end, I'm really proud of it, and it's really hopeful for the future of my career, I guess. <laughs> they four. Um, this is also a repaint from 2020. Uh, with this piece, it was the day I had to give out my final movie, my bachelor's movie. Every render took like an hour to do of the movie, and I had to do like four that day, so I had a lot of time to like anxiously paint, because that's what I did. I was like anxiously waiting for my renders while painting this so there's a lot of details i've been playing with this new style like recently this is the old version as you can see right now um i've been playing with different rendering styles i i like color changing brushes like a lot i think they like the loosen controls that i get with it 
is so fun. I don't know. It's so liberating to like not have perfect control. And then I can do like a line decker type style, as my friend Spring would say. Uh, with like, you can see the shading and the brush strokes. And I really like the way it turned out. I I'm really, really, really proud of this piece. It's one of my favorites for sure. And let's go straight into one that I didn't love that much. Um, it it's not bad necessarily. I was trying to play with light a lot. So this is like a uh, mermaid at la H2O. Just had water in her bathtub, smoking try like mad at the world i guess the perspective is off a bit but like it's fine i like the the way i played with the light a lot in this i think the colors turned out pretty good and, and i think the design in general of the the old older type of like city mermaid was good um yeah i don't know there's not that much to say about this one i it, i i like it for what it is um, but it's like one of the ones that you can tell that I'm doing this for a challenge and so I'm like kind of a bit rushed. But I think that the oversaturated colors look kind of cool. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. <laughs> they five. That's a glow squid. I wanted to... It was not even to pay homage to Minecraft necessarily, but it was just like, I want to do a cephalopod type character. I think squids are cool. I think it would be cooler if it glowed. That's about it. Um, I, I really like the way I rendered the tendrils that are like kind of hair like and the, all the splashes of colors of light. They're really fun. I'm really, really happy with it. Like the, I, I think... Not to tune my own horn, but I'm really, really happy with the color choices that I chose. Like, this blue, orange, and green together look really, really slay. The pose and perspective was kind of cool, too. I'm not, like, super good at perspective, but I, I think it turned out really good. And yeah, I'm really proud of the effects I did on it. I don't know, it's a really... it, it was a really fun piece to do. And we're to the last three. I wanted to do some tropical fish and so super bright, super colorful, super fun. Um, and at first I didn't quite know what I wanted to do, but then I found a makeup by Deja Sky, which is a drag queen that I liked. And it was like, okay, so this three day, the tropical fish are going to be inspired by drag queens. So this first one has the makeup style of Deja Sky that we can see here. Um, I really, I'm i'm over the moon i think it looks really really good and the pose and design is based on chimonique which is a fat mermaid on the internet um all of her links are going to be down there because she has some really cool poses and photos and really good references and i don't know i just uh, it's important to draw different body types and as a fat person myself i think it's really important to show how pretty fat people can be and i think that chimonique is a beautiful woman so this is my day with Deja Sky. Another drag queen, I went with Mistress Isabel Brooks uh, from season 15 of Drag Race. Um, she was my pick to win. I wanted to get that so bad and I had to experiment with makeup, which is so fun. Her makeup style was so hard to render. See, you can see here, I posted a little like side by side slower makeup to, so you can see, but it was really fun to play with the makeup and her makeup shape is like super super original the entire dress is based upon her finally design which was really good um i'm really happy with the colors and the shading on this once again the color changing brush is like everything to me um i didn't mention it with deja but all of these drag queens are also inspired by actual fish so she's inspired by the royal angelfish and deja was inspired by the royal grama which are all coral fish which is also why they're like tropical and yeah i'm really happy with this one i think the colors turned out so cool and finally that's the final one of the video it's inspired by gotmik um this fish is the bengai cardinal fish i think 
um i'll put it on screen but i've loved gothmic for like many years at this point if you followed my last mermaid video i had a uh, mermaid drawing of her done before i think that having a trans person on drag race a trans man on drag race and then like showing this side of drag was like everything and i'm really happy with how it turned out i think the colors are super super cool and i don't know it's also one of my favorites just because the pose and the way that like the mermaid is kind of like seducing in a way is really really cool and i really like the color choices that i did and that's about it for this piece and this entire video um so let's go on to the montage Thank you a lot for staying with me coming around coming back to me it's been like almost a year i think like it's been a couple of months definitely could have had a baby between the last upload and this one um i'm gonna try to post two more mermaid videos so one in like 10 days and one at the end of like probably mid-june and yeah there's a big a, a lot of big changes in my life i'm currently looking for employment um but you know life goes on and i'm gonna have to figure out how to do stuff on my own now so i don't know when videos are gonna come out i've not planned it yet but i'm really excited to be doing more youtube again thanks a lot for coming around and see you very soon